Hey guys and welcome to Dark Souls 3. But before I start, I just want to say that this is going to be a let's play. I'm going to be completing the game fully. Um, it's also going to be a guide, so I'm going to be telling you tips and tricks about general items, what they do, and how to defeat some of the bosses. So let's start a new game. Yes, indeed. It is called Lot. The transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. Saint of the Deep. Farron's undead legion, the Abyss Watchers. So, alright, um, sorry if you can hear like dogs and traffic in the background, I don't know, I can hear it so you might be able to, um, I'm going to be doing the knight generally because it's, for beginners it's sort of the easiest class to sort of get hang of, so yeah, <laughs> right, um, male class, burial gift, I always pick the sovereign soul, so the what soul, it gives you um, 2000 straight off, so that's nice. Um, my name, uh, I've got loads of characters, so I don't want to name them the same. Um, there you go. Um, right, I'm not gonna go in much into this, I don't really care too much. I always pick the Astro Noble, I don't know why. Um, Star Noble, um, uh, first detail. Uh, uh, eh, screw it. I don't want to. I don't want to spend too long doing that. So, someone so finalized, right?
So, adventure begins. Right, um, just want the decent that because I don't want it. That's basically your, sort of your hotbar, so you can quick select items. Right. So, down here. I think it's 200, 800, no, 200, not 4, I don't know. <laughs> right. That was cool. Alright, um, straight off, the red <laughs> Estus flasks heal HP, the blue Ashen flasks heal FP, which is the blue bar, which, if you can see at the top, um, which is for your skills you get skills now so it's that consumes fp it also does it for your magic magic also consumes it so yeah right I'm not gonna bother about the other guys. No one can kill him. All right. Um. So you wanna light this bomb fire first because he's a tough enemy back that I skipped. You don't have to kill him, but he does give you four thousand souls. Which, if you didn't know, souls I used to spend to level up your character. They also also used for purchasing items off vendors like merchants and upgrading tools at blacksmiths and stuff. So it's just like your currency, basically. Right. So it's this guy, um you'll see him in a minute. Um it's a crystal no it's not a crystal lizard, it's I don't know what they're called, crystal lizard little ones. Um they drop a guaranteed Titanite scale. Which are used for upgrading weapons that you get from boss souls that you collect after you kill a boss. So yeah, I messed up then. I might even die. <laughs> Alright, um. So yeah, you don't have to kill him. You can just come back to him later on in the game if you wish. What's happening there? Oh. In this game, you want to always stick to your roles. They're very helpful in this game. You can't really live without them. You can, but you know. I could have got a fist roll on him then, but I missed it. Alright. So he's not too hard. You can sort of stun him a bit and then chop him up. So, yeah, that's 4,000 straight off and another 800 from that. So, yeah. I'll probably do the first bit, I'll kill the first boss on Unlock Fire Link, which is the first, just, there's just a little tutorial area basically in the video, so yeah. Right, let's go heal back up at the bonfire. I thought I was gonna die again, tell it. Alright, I don't spend too long doing this section. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be sticking to just playing swords for use because I don't want. I'm. Well, knights are sort of strength builds, but they're not like. The sword's just the general weapon, and I don't wanna start using big heavy weapons because they can be harder to use and it should. You know, so it's like. If you are doing the guide base of what I'm doing, then it's sort of similar, and I can show you that I can do with just a sword. See what we need to switch weapons. I mean, I will switch from the sword I'm using now, but I'll stick two swords as my main weapon. 
Right, so this is a fire bomb, as you can see, it's clues in its name really. You just throw them at enemies to deal a bit of damage, fire damage. Yeah. And up here, there's a little jumping puzzle, if you say. All right. You, to jump, you hold circle to run and click the um, stick. <laughs> um, uh, Titan Knight Shard, by the way, are used to upgrade your weapons. So uh, the sword I'm using now, or the shield, I could upgrade using the Titan Knight. Oh, the um, Cleric Sacred Chime are just for. Um, start to explain. Um, I can't really call them. <laughs> Faith builds, which is a type of magic, and it's a catalyst, so you cast your spells using them. And you'll find different ones through the world that have better skills, if you know what I mean. Like, with weapons in this game, they have scaling, so if you see at the bottom where it says attribute bonus, say it, it's a D, so it's not brilliant, but it's alright. If it was, say, an A, which is the best, well, second to best is S, which is the best. Um, uh, um, if it is, I can't think. <laughs> if it's an S, that means that as you upgrade your um, strength, or whatever it falls under, the scaling, it'll upgrade more. So, like, if I upgrade my strength once, it would, say, add maybe 10 attack to my sword if it was a D scaling. If it was an S scaling, then it may add 15 to it. So it just sort of varies how much damage it'll up when you level. So yeah. Alright. So we're just going to challenge this boss here. He's, he, he's not hard. He's just a little tough. But you can get the hang of him. You can also get a few hits on him now. So what am I doing? <laughs> Right, for this boss, you, you'll want to roll quite a lot for him. You roll the pretty useful. You can block him, especially using the knight. As a, the knight has a 100% block shield, meaning it'll block every attack without you take any damage. If it was anything less than 100%, then it would take damage from... You'd take damage when you hit. Right, so what this guy's done is transforms, which it makes him harder, but not a lot harder. You can throw the fire bombs at him that you picked up, but I prefer not to right now. Didn't even use any here. Best of ever done that. Alright, so you'll get the coil sword. You cannot use it as a sword, so that kind of sucks, but you know. You'll see what that does in a minute. Right, what, what you saw is, when I killed that boss, if you look at my health bar, it's now a bit bigger. What it does is it means I'm in embered form. So until I die, I'm going to have a little bit more health. So when I die, I'm going to lose that extra bit I just gained. But I will get it back if I use an uh, item called an ember, which I will find in a minute. So, uh, yeah. Right. Crappy, broken straight sword. Alright, these aren't dead. The walls have to when we go past them. That boss had a start, by the way, is, as I said, is sort of, in a way, middle. No, a bit, a bit less than middle tier, because there's some boss in this game which are generally easy, in a way. So, yeah. Well, no, I shouldn't really say that. A lot of the boss in Dark Souls 3 are a lot harder than some of them in the previous games. Like, Dark Souls 2, there was like five bosses where you could kill the ice but they were just so... Right. Fading Soul. Yeah, so as I was saying, these um, souls are basically, right, bottom corner, where it says 7,556 is 
like as I said your currency so these will just give you some so like the fading souls will give you 50 these I think are 200 um, this one is 2000 this one's 800 I think so it'll just give me them souls so yeah So as I was saying, if I miss any items that are just lying there, I'm sorry, but yeah, <laughs> I, w I probably will forget things. It'll be hard for me to remember everything, but I'll try my best. So, right, there's an ember here. As I said, they will increase your health until you die, and then you can use another one once you die, respawn. And I think it's another one. No, how would burn? Oh, there's another one down here. Not down there. I died. Alright, um, another one here. So you get two straight off, which is nice. And the dog here, these guys are up here. Don't mind. Alright. I think that's cleared. Oh, yeah, there's this. I'll show you in a minute. I'll just go light the bonfire. Finally, it's shrine. If any of you played Dark Souls 1, it's, I think it's the same place, I, I'm pretty sure it is, it's, it just looks a lot different, in Dark Souls 1 it's ruins. Why will I, oh, there you go, there you go. So that sword you got is only to light this bonfire, it's a shame you can't use it, but, you know. Alright, I'm just going to rest at this bonfire. Oh yeah, if you saw that guy just walk around, that's because... It's just a ghost. You can see other people, real life, who are playing the game at the moment. So, yeah. so this is the fight keeper. She will um, level your character up. Sorry, I'm just gonna skip past that. All right, level up. So, straight off, oh no, I didn't even sound sorry. <laughs> I'm stupid. Alright. So, yeah, these just add some. What am I doing? 200. 800. Then 2000. That's the 2000 one is what I picked as my burial gift. So you won't have one of them souls if you didn't pick it. Right. I always put them all straight into Vigor, which is your health. I'll, I'll go through what they are. So Vigor increases the health and some of your defense. As you upgrade it, it'll start to upgrade defense, as you see at the side. Attunement is your spell, so as you upgrade it, it's going to give you more FP, which is your magic bar, basically. And it's going to increase the amount of spells you can use so if you say if you see at the bottom where it says attunement slots at the minute i can only use one i only have one slot for one spell but as you upgrade it i will get more so yeah endurance well that does increase your stamina and the defense which is quite important you don't have to spend much levels in it i don't uh, right vitality gives you a tad bit of health as you progress i think it gives you quite a bit of defense and um, you will get your quick load down which what that is uh, uh, I'll go through that in a sec right, your strength will increase the damage of strength weapons or just your weapons in general same about dex but dexterity is for more like skill based weapons so like katanas and stuff right, your intelligence will increase the amount of magic damage you do and defense as well like overall defense uh, faith is your miracles, I was saying before about them chimes. So that increases your miracles. How much damage they do. Um, luck will increase drops for items. So like, when you kill an enemy they will drop an item. And this just increases your chance. And it will give you a bit of defense and all that stuff as well. And resistances. So, so far I'm going to put it all into vigor except one of them which I just feel like putting in strength so yeah all right I've got no more souls and my health bar is a lot bigger now so I'll show you what um Kaiwe is so where am I gonna see that I don't have to 
I can't. Oh yeah, it's at the top. I've been playing different games and it's confusing me. Um, at the top you'll see um, equip load. It, right at the top of the right hand corner, it, underneath it says weight ratio. When that hits seventy percent, you'll start doing a slower roll. So as it increases, I think the next stage is ninety, and you'll do a slower roll. And past a hundred, um, you'll do like a real fat roll. You'll be able to do much. And then beyond that, I think it will, you'll just not be able to roll at all. So if I show you as well, if I take off something that'll get me below 40, so my chest plate and my helmet, I'll do a big roll. Wait, did that work? <laughs> yeah, I, I can do a much bigger roll, but you don't really want to run around naked, so yeah. Generally though, I like to take my helmet off as it will add 9 weight and it's not going to make too much difference, so yeah. Right, what was I missing? Oh yeah, that guy at the top. So you'll see a guy here is um, Swordmaster, that's his name apparently. And he wields quite a strong weapon, the Yuchi Katana, which is a dexterity weapon. So it's going to be worth you getting that if you want to do a dexterity build. It's a, it's a pretty good weapon early on to be honest, it's one of the best you can get straight away. But this guy is quite a pain, he's really tough. So I'm just going to hurl a few fire bombs at him and try and kill him. And he'll drop 2000 souls as well, so that's nice. He will kill you in about 3 hits, so be careful. I'm just going to chuck all these at him. If you're using a, um, a spell type, say a sorcerer or a uh, pyromancer, you, you won't have any trouble killing these whatsoever. I could try and hit him off the edge. Nope. Oh. Yeah, so if I didn't increase my health then, that'd be very devastating. God damn it, he's killing me. <laughs> I don't want to have to kill him, that's the thing, but... I'll show you what type of weapon he drops. Nope. No, I, I don't think I'm going to kill him. Sorry, it's going to take a while. Sorry. I don't want to spend, like, all the level episode just trying to fight him, because he, he kills you a lot. But you can go back to him later on in the game when you've leveled up a bit. But for me, I'm doing more of the strength. I'm not doing a dex at all, so... His weapon is useless to me, so yeah. So I think I'm gonna wrap things up now. I've done the first area with you, so yeah. So I said it's more of a playthrough, a let's play than an actual um, like a guide. But I'm just giving tips when I play. So later on in the game, as I start to get further, you'll see less tips because you'll start to learn the game more. So yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next part. Also, if you wish, suggest what games you'd like me to play. I'm not just going to stick to Souls games. I'll be playing loads of games. I have loads of games that I would like to play on the channel. So yeah, I'll see you all later.